I was brought up in rural Pennsylvania on a beautiful rural setting. It was a rural idyll, if I might say. Ice skating in the winter, swimming in the summer, fishing, you know, all American sort of upbringing. As my two older brothers were uh, closer in age, I had a lot of time on my own because uh, they went off and did other things and I was too young to, to tag along when I was, was quite young. So I spent a lot of time on my own in my room uh, studying things. One of the things I spent a lot of time with was, was actually studying magic, which is a very scholarly enterprise. And I think all of that is still very applicable to what I do as an academic. There's study, there's method, and at the same time there's a way of communicating, looking at human behavior, and really providing a, a different route to enlightenment about certain ideas that concern us. Well, as a kid, I devoured all the stories from Sherlock Holmes. And the one key thing that really caught my attention was this idea of the science of deduction. And that idea, that science of deduction, is very important for us in what we do in political science, using facts about the world that we do know to say something about uh, the world that we don't yet know. It's not just government. It's about power that anyone can have or not have. It's something about uh, the human condition that draws people into political science, but the human condition and how that power is exercised and how we can change society. I'm director of the Institute for Democracy and Conflict Resolution here at the university. This is a new initiative uh, by the university that seeks to combine our capacity and strengths in the social sciences with our interest in topics like democracy, governance, justice, and human rights. We will be analyzing situations from afar, but also getting engaged in the field. That enriches our capacity to help our students study world problems and engage in those problems uh, in an active manner. We expect a lot of our students, but at the same time, they have access to some of the greatest minds in this country working on some of the greatest problems facing the world.